in order to determine the side of the femur bone, which side of the bone you are holding in your hand, you should remember these following key features. Upper end is the end of the femur bone which bears this rounded head. It is always lying upward and this blunt large projection is called the lateral trochanter. It is always lying in the upper end and lateral. This is the pointed conical projection which is called lesser trochanter and is lying in the upper end but medially. So head is directed upward and medially, lateral trochanter upward and laterally, lesser trochanter upward and medially below the head of the femur. The lower end is expanded to form a condyle which articulates with the condyles of tibia to form knee joint. Now, we will always hold this bone in a position such that the end containing the head is always lying in upward direction and condyles are always lying in downward direction. We cannot hold the femur bone like this. So once you have established its upper and lower end, you need to know the anterior and posterior features which will further help in determining the side. Now the one key feature which you should remember that the in entire shaft anteriorly is smooth but posteriorly in the center it has a sharp posterior border sharp posterior border which is called linea aspera now let's orient these key features head of the femur upward and medially greater to render upward and laterally lesser to render below the head medially this sharp posterior border linea aspera posteriorly condyle stone work all these features are signifying that this is the bone of the right side of the human body. Now I cannot hold this bone like this and, and tell that this is the bone of the left side because now the sharp posterior border is lying anteriorly. This border, this sharp posterior border in Aspera must be oriented posteriorly like this. So this is the right femur of human body.